Hello, this video will talk about what is SIMD. SIMD stands for Single Instruction Multidata. It's a form of parallelism. It happens to, at the level of the processor. It can really increase your performance. And so we'll get down to the nitty gritty parts of what that means. So before we talk about single instruction multi-data, we need to talk about what single instruction single data means. So let's load a little example here. So here we have two operands. We have four and four. If we add them together, it makes eight. That means that we have one single instruction, which is addition, with one data, four, which will make eight. So there's a single instruction, it's a single data. We only have a two, we only have a maximum of two operands we're dealing with at a time. A single instruction multi-data takes the same principle but applies it to multiple data. Let's take a look at this example. We're gonna load two vectors. Vectors are sort of like groups of data. Think of like if you vector would be like four integers or like four integers of some size, like 32 bits, right? So let's load that example, all these nice, beautiful arrows. Um, keep going, keep going. Okay, so now you see we're creating this new vector, six, six, six. That's the result of this vector. That's the idea that you're taking two groups of numbers, in this case integers, and you're applying the same operation to all of them. That's one instruction per vector of data. You take two vectors, it's the same instruction. So this is achieved through something called a special SIMD register. To keep it simple, it's the idea that you were extending the usual maximum data size of 64-bit integers into larger sizes. So it's not, it's not necessarily true that there's a 128-bit integer, but rather that there is a um, register that can just handle more data. So you, you it's not so much like 128 bits as one number. It could be like four 32-bit integers as, as a vector that can undergo operations, or eight 16-bit integers, something like that. It's the idea that you're processing data in groups. Now, you might be wondering how this is actually accomplished in like programming languages like C or C++. So what's happening here is that we're using intrinsics that are guaranteed by the compiler. So what that does is that that can allow us to, in like a regular C or C++ program, have the compiler place in this special SIMD instructions into our code and process it the way we're thinking of without writing assembly code directly. It's really useful. I'm going to be making more videos on this and um, subscribe for more. Thank you.